Stormy Cloud 21. Tonight we're going to look at Jurassic World Gigantic Trackers. Dino Trackers. Sino Tyrannus. Look at this thing, man. Ginormous. And uh, this is the first time I was actually able to come across it in person. I mean, I know it's been out. It's probably been pretty common. I've been quite often except for the last 10 days. And uh, there it was. There it was, the only one, the first Dino Tracker I personally saw with gear, besides the Stego, and I haven't seen that yet either, or the Endo. But at least I found this and it was the only one. So I didn't waste a moment. I said, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. And I headed right for it. And it also wasn't on the common aisle where you would think that this would be. So it was quite a find. Look at the plants right there. The tracker stuff, really cool. Uh, I can think of at least four more reviews um, that will have to do with something um, similar to dinosaurs like this coming up. So there's big plants, big plants. So looking on the back of the packaging, and here is where you can find the scanner code information tail strike and uh, total chomping action which i discovered which i discovered is only to one side as far as i'm aware here is the tracking gear included going on the dinosaur i'd love to try this out on some other dinosaurs as well here is that stegosaurus that i'm still looking for have not come across in a while yet but i plan to eventually add that and review it if I can find it. Sino Tyrannus Gigantic Trackers. Looking on, looking on the bottom of the packaging, there's that UPC, or also right there. Uh, really cool stuff. Let's look at this side. Gino Trackers again. And there's a little button you can push. Well, actually, quite a big button right there. And then it goes like this to the side. And uh, then you have this, there's your scan code right there with the logo on the other side. And the tail has this articulation in a couple places. Uh, so let's open this up, check it out, put the gear on and look at it. So here we go. Before we open this, first of all, major claustrophobia shopping around in the store and just happening to find this out of all the chaos of the Christmas season shopping experience. Boom, there it was. I was shocked and I had to grab it. A, cup, a couple buttons on its back, by the way. This one controls this, but this button over here, which we'll see later, controls the tail. Cool stuff. All right, watch this. First you just go like this, then you go like this, and it's yours, baby. It's yours. None more to that weird foot stuff that they did in the past where you just couldn't get it out of the packaging. No more of that. We have it in our hand right now. So I'm liking this. This is cool. This is the two buttons. And I just love what they do with the paintwork. It's just so cool. Uh, you've got this nice green and you've got this darker dark green. And uh, all these bumps and everything. This button, of course I said, controls this right here. Chomp in action. But it only goes to the this side, not the other side. This head only turns to here, not the other way. Just so you're aware. And then this does the tail slashing out of focus action. So, there's articulation right there. And then you've got, of course, articulation right here. Look how they sculpted all those little bumps all over this thing. Uh, this is nice. This is nice under here. Um, really cool details over this thing. This, I used to think there was two, but there's just one. Just one. It's cool. 
cool. That's from the top. Uh, okay, scan code right there. Look at that. Switching on the other side, I'm gonna pull it up again. There's your logo. There's that tail, which you can control with a button or just manually. Um, and then, we've got articulation of the legs as well. You go all the way. You could just actually go all the way around with this one. I've never seen that in, uh, in a while that I know of with this type figure. So, yeah, you could go all the way around with both. That's really cool and really weird. So, in and out. In and out. And then... Yeah, there's underneath. There's no noise. There's no battery compartment because there is no no audio with this creature. Uh, and then looking under the feet, there's that logo. Uh, there's texture. And no painted toenails or dew claw. Uh, no painted uh, hand claws either unless you count that green. Nice striping, striping right there. Nice eyes i like the eyes a lot of texture on this dinosaur very cool dinosaur even though the hammock collection still knocks everything out of the park this is still a very nice dinosaur to have okay okay so now you're going to be faced with getting the gear out and in order to do that you're pretty much going to have to destroy this really nice box but here's the nice background got this tree you get here all these like pieces of the tree coming down the creek here Got some nice plants and trees and shrubs and things growing up right there. Uh, it's really going to be a shame to have to tear up this really nice box. But we need our tracking gear, so let's get that out. So I have to be honest. Uh, I bought this, yes, for the dinosaur. But a lot of, a lot of it had to do with um, this new tracking gear option as well. Uh, I have to say. So that played a pretty big role. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Like like when you have these uh, things on your backpack, you know? Wow. So this is pretty cool. You could paint this, spice it up, you know, make it, make it look all the better. You have like red glowy stuff if you wanted to paint that and stuff. Or blue put headlights on the thing this is cool all right let's start to drape this over the back of the dinosaur okay then you're gonna put this this part around the neck and over the eyes and uh if you want to secure it put that in there okay so i did that off camera but if you're really curious yes this does go underneath that and can help secure it more uh it probably goes out through there too but that's all the further i got with it right now that's what it looks like on the dinosaur bring it back to good old days of nostalgic dino riders so cool from the 1980s so cool I could really love to try this on a lot of dinosaurs that I have and see how that works. Don't want to forget, you have foot articulation as well. So I don't want to forget forget to mention that, but yeah. So uh, this is very cool. I like it. Well, I'm going to say that wraps it up for this one. This is Stormy Cloud 21. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more cool stuff. Coming up soon, as well as that notification bell. As always, thank you for watching, and talk soon!